I mean, at this point, um, you know, it's, it's an avenue um, not just to make a lot of money or lose a lot of money, but it's also an avenue for money laundering, and it's also a, a place where white supremacists apparently are taking options. I mean, it's problematic at best in so many ways. Um, how do you see what's happening in the crypto space today? I don't think the crypto space has any more problematic issues than the internet, society at large, mainstream media, Wall Street. Um, you know, I think it's a new avenue of innovation, and I think every avenue of innovation has good characters and bad characters. So how do I look at it? I look at it as a new platform where consumers and humans will evolve, and all the good and the bad that comes along with human behavior will play out on the platforms. What about the exciting world of the NFTs. I think a lot NFTs of people are say that these are things that should not have mainstream. values. <laughs> yeah, I mean, people thought that Andy Warhol's and Jackson Pollock should not have value. People thought that sports cards should not have value. People thought that sneakers should not have value. The thought of people deciding on their opinion of what should or shouldn't have value has made me laugh my entire life and has historically been incorrect. The market will decide if something has value. Um, so for me, it's more about understanding why people buy NFTs. It's the same reason that people buy Chanel handbags and Nike sneakers and Mercedes Benz. This is about brand. And if you look at the behavior of the under 15 year old crew, Fortnite, Roblox, Minecraft, uh, if you look at why people care about blue check marks on Instagram or how many followers you have on TikTok, we are living more and more increasingly in a digital landscape and NFTs become become assets to communicate who you are, and that's something human beings have done forever, bought things to communicate, and NFTs will be the scaled version of that.